Hey, so today we're going to talk about storing our new canoe. We're going to talk about kind of uh, short and long term storage. So the main thing that most people are going to be storing it is going to be in this position. Um, there's a couple different ways to get the support we're looking for when we're doing a horizontal storage. The biggest thing is we're going to want to support the chines and the wall of our unlimited and not putting undue stress. So as you can see with this rack here, it's paddle based and there's going to be four paddles coming up on the side, supporting the chine, supporting the wall. This is going to be a great either short or long term storage for our new canoe. Um, uh, unlimited U10, all the different models. But as you can see, we don't want to have these too close together and make a focal point in the middle of our uh, kayak. We want to have them spread out and supporting the whole thing. Uh, this will work with even a, a rigged out uh, unlimited. There's a couple different variations of this that you'll see. One of the ones uh, is going to be on a flat surface. So if we got rid of the rack and put foam blocks. So if you're going on a straight surface, you're going to want to bring in something like these, maybe even a little bit longer. We're going to set them down. We're going to put our uh, kayak on top of them. And that's going to allow us to kind of pull the weight off of the, the point of our hole and support it onto the walls and chines of our kayak. So let's go ahead and look at a couple different storage options that are similar to this, but give us some more choices when we're out storing our new canoe. Another great horizontal choice that, uh, that many people uh, make from a convenience standpoint is they want to leave their new canoe on the trailer. And that can be fine. Um, it's the same type of concept when we're talking about supporting the chines. You want a trailer that's going to be able to cradle your uh, new canoe in. This is like a two bunk system that pulls up a little bit of, a, of another option that could work uh, is going to be to run like two by sixes that are carpeted. We're going to run those along the, uh, the, the chines. So we're going to want to cradle our uh, new canoe as it comes into our two by sixes. That's going to support the entirety of the wall. This is also a fine option. When we're leaving our new canoe on the trailer, we want to not have it under tension. So we're going to pop any uh, straps that we have over our, our new canoe unlimited. So we're not going to have any tension there. Another thing is going to be if it's any type of long-term storage, like over a day or it's hot outside or something like that, you just want to take the weight off the, the bow there. So what we would do is just pop our XI and put it off to the side, put it somewhere else. And that's going to allow us to keep our unlimited here. So once we have it like this, we're supported. We're not having any extra weight on it. It's well balanced. We have uh, not a single focal point under our unlimited. This could move into more of a long-term storage option in our garage. So that's going to kind of cover the horizontal storage. Let's talk about vertical storage a little bit. So as you can see here, uh, this is a vertical storage option for our uh, new canoes. This is a U10 here, but we're supporting the transom on a flat surface. Um, we're not causing any like abrasions or anything down there, and we're supporting it going vertical up. And we want to make sure we can't go left and right, but this can be a great uh, storage option for our new canoe. You'll see a another vertical storage option after this, but again, keys are to kind of make it again safe. We don't want to tip left or right, not put any stress on the hole itself. And uh, this can be a great vertical option storage if we have a, a small amount of uh, floor plan and a lot of vertical height. Uh, keeping up with the vertical storage options, this is going to be another one. It's going to be a slight variation uh, that we have here in the shop. This is more for bulk kayak storage, but it can be adapted to an individual kayak as well. Um, as you see, instead of having attached to the wall, we're going to have an arm-based system where the kayak can lean up against it. Um, we don't want to have too much lean, cause any ind indentation or anything like that, such if it's really hot in your garage. But if we keep it vertical, we're not putting uh, any stress on our new canoe. The transom is supported with the, the foam underneath there, keeping it nice and safe, keeping it vertical, having a safety chain for left and right. So as long as we're controlling all those variables, we'll have a nice, uh, safe new canoe that won't tip over and keep the, the whole shape, uh, the integrity of the hole intact. One other storage option that we want to run through here is going to be the J-hooks off the wall. So horizontal, but up on the wall. Let's take a look at that. So the last option for storing your new canoe that you want to talk about is going to be a horizontal mounted solution. So something like J-hooks here. Um, one thing is a lot of the J-hook options, if you're going straight on bars, you can cause kind of an indentation on your new canoe because you're going to be putting so much weight onto it. Something like the Suspends J-hook here where it's actually using this strap and that's what's holding your new canoe up is a great option because you're not going to put the same amount of pressure on uh, like a hard bar there. So that's a great option for horizontal storage up on the wall. If you did have a situation where uh, you ha bought a new canoe or something like that and it was on these hard uh, J-hook bars or something like that, if it caused an indentation, go ahead and put that outside in the sun. That'll pop that indentation out nine out of 10 times. But for a proper uh, secure up on the wall for storing our new canoe, we're gonna wanna use something like a strap-based system 
for J hooks or one of the other options we went through. So that's gonna be storing your new canoe. Go ahead and see the link below for more care and repair options.